What is going on, my dudes? And do that. Showing you with SNS Urbanterium. Um, I'm just hanging out now with my first out of snake, this pastel boy. He's uh, he's nice and chunky now, to be fair. Um, and he's doing really well for me. I'm just gonna keep uh, keep feeding him now. Obviously, I'm not gonna let him get fat, but it doesn't really matter. I don't plan on breeding him again. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, he's just my buddy now. You know, dude. Yeah, he's getting quite large now, to be fair. He's getting some good size on him. But anyway, so today um, we're going to chat about um, actually my friend's experience at a shop. And if you want to check out his channel, we'll go into depth more um, on his story about this, you know, because he's got all the details. Um, his channel is Jamie's Jungle. So shout out. The Jamie, he's um he's only got a few subscribers. It's probably because you know he's quite boring, and um, he only works as sand boas mostly. So you know if you want if you don't want to check him out because of the sand boas, I understand. Um, that's fair enough, really. Um, I I I wouldn't watch his videos either, even though he's my friend. <laughs> Just joking. He's probably watching this. See, so um yeah. So basically. His story was that when he was 17, he went to work at this pet shop, and this is the absolute dodgiest pet shop I've ever heard about. It really is. Um, so he went to work there, and um, basically he said that after like a week, the owner just tossed him the keys. And, you know, he'd open up, he'd close. He was only 17, he was only like on work placement. Um... <laughs> So, you know, it uh, is quite that's quite sketchy in itself. But he was saying that downstairs there was just like snakes everywhere. Um, you know, they were they were just all over the floor and stuff like that. They were in vivs. And these vivs downstairs and most of them were like from people their like, customers who were maybe going on holidays like that. It was like sort of a pet sitting thing. And the vivs had no heat in, no no nothing. Um, they were just empty vivs, uh, pretty much. Uh, Jamie gave them water and stuff, but that was that was all they were getting really. Um, you know, it was down in the basement as well in Wales, so that's quite cold. Um, you really you really don't want to be doing stuff like that. And there were just snakes loose everywhere where they just escaped. Um, he found a couple of dead bodies of snakes just on the floor. There were all these really unwell leopard geckos there as well. Um, and he told me that this was the worst part of the story. He told me there was a freezer there. Um, and this freezer was filled to the brim with dead snakes and, and reptiles. All just corpses, and it's, this isn't a standard freezer like what I've got here, right? Where it's like you know, a standard freezer you keep in the house. This is a big industrial freezer, a walk in freezer, and it was filled to the brim with snake corpses. Um, you know, he, he told me like, like to, it was to the point where you know, you're wondering how, how long that had been going on. Um, he said that one day that the boss, the the owner of the shop, had a tip that animal welfare were um were coming after him. Off his friend who works for the the council and stuff, so um they emptied out all of the freezer and done the tip, and Jamie said that towards the end, you know, you could see like there was some effort to put them in boxes and stuff, but then. You know, I was towards the bottom right when I first started, but then after you know a while, there was just no effort, and he was just chucking them in. Um, there was a girl that worked there as well, and you know, obviously being a shop, a lot of times they would take in snakes that were maybe unwell um, from customers. Maybe the customer couldn't get them feeding or whatever. And um, it was just that the owner of the shop there and the girl at the time. Um, and 
they had this boar there that uh, there was something wrong there, it was unwell. And the dude said to the girl, he said, I've had enough of this boar now. Um, just chuck her in the freezer. It was still alive and they threw her in the freezer. And that was someone's pet. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, you, you do have to watch who you trust because things aren't always as they appear. But luckily that shop, it, well, it's under new ownership now. Um, I can't comment what the new owners are like or anything like that. Um, but, you know, me and Jamie are gonna we're gonna do a video on this and he can go fully in depth of everything that was that was going on there. Um, again, shout out, you know, go go subscribe to his channel. Um, and we will definitely do a video on it because he was telling me about it and I was fascinated. It's a really interesting story. Um, yeah, he's got some good stories to be fair to him. Um, some rubbish snakes, but some good stories. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Um, you know, it's been uh, a pleasure spending some time with you here today. Um, I hope you're all well given the current circumstances. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.